Give me the attribute. Name, number, and employee. Manage the department and also start date of the management and send it the department has the several locations. So to represent the attribute, we are going to use section notation over. Then connect to the associate the entity. So for example, we have the department name and the number and manager for the start today date of the manager and location then to credit file you can connect such a way okay <coughs> and what about the next Project. Each project has unique name, name, and unique number, and location. Then we can do the same thing. Like the this. Why don't you make? That the other attribute project and dependent their attribute right now using the any scratch paper not the modeling of your database system yet okay it is, it's a good idea forget about any knowledge any experience on working with a computer so think about the, you don't know anything about computer just follow the direction to organize the information grouping okay. because of that sometimes you are curious so it is Unique number, unique name. So what does that mean? And so on. So right now, it's OK. So we will the cover step by step. this one if yes maybe slightly different it's okay so it is true there is no general solution of the modeling it depends on how the who is the model so this one who is the modeler can be various maybe change it but mostly like this one then before we move to the next step there are something we need to care first one is attribute there are different types of attribute Mostly single attribute, which means the name, it has a name. The number, it has a number. Manager, information, manager, information. The start date, start date. But this is actually locations. Locations, 
It's a multiple value. Okay? In case of the multiple value of the attribute, we are going to use the double over. Like with this one. The double over means it's a multi-value attribute. We will see why it's the problem later. This one is a single location, so it's okay. Okay? So, but in case of a multiple value, like the colors, okay? Number of colors. Then, number of names, then it's a double over. So, multi value you need to identify. Then, another is the composite. Composite means actually address. Address is like the 100 University Avenue and the Bridgeport. 06604 city. This is the one value address. Somebody may be considering. This is the street number. This is the street name. This is the city name. This is the zip code. This is the state name. Separate. So which means? So address can be decomposed. like the, this one, okay? Then this is the attribute of the de department. So at that time, this attribute is called composite attribute. In case of composite, you can use the kind of tree structure, decompose, okay? In this case, I'm using, where's the address, address? Yeah, address, I'm using just a single attribute. But sometimes, depending on your requirement, it can be decomposed. Okay? Name is the same. Name, actually first name and last name. So if your requirement need to be decomposed, you can use composite attribute. We cannot just say this is always single, this is always the composite. We don't know. Depending on the requirement, it can be changed. I will introduce what will be the guideline, okay? Actually, guideline is not general guideline. It depends. So we will see the next class. That, will, that is the reason I don't introduce the first page yet. The next time, I will the, explain. So this is the attribute. So there is a single attribute, composite attribute, multi-value attribute. There are also one more thing is, sometimes you can identify the attribute that can represent. Represent means using that attribute, I can identify the specific entity, not entity type, entity. For example, project, or the employee. Using social security number, I can ident identify employee entity specific object, okay? For example, using department number, I can identify specific department entity. At that time, such an attribute is called key attribute. So key attribute is the attribute that can identify specific data, which means entity. Then that key attribute will be underlined. <coughs> key attribute is underlined. For example, number. If you see the description, it's clearly mentioned. So, for example, project. Each project has a unique number, unique name, right? Unique means it can be key attribute. And also, Number, department number, even though it's not mentioned, department name will not be the same in one company, obviously. Okay, so it's a underline, underline, key attribute, key attribute. Employee, social security number, definitely it's a unique number, so key attribute. What about the name? We do not store the name, but the, for example, what if we have a name? It is not. No. 
usually not. It may be possible same name. Okay, common name of employee. It usually happens. Even in the classroom, it happens. So it is not. Dependent. What about the dependent name? May not. Because we have the same the same name of the dependent in on the different the employee. Okay? So sometimes we have the two key attributes. Sometimes two, sometimes one, sometimes no. no. It is possible. Some of the students argue the always entity should must have the key attribute. No. This is not the database model. <coughs> this is an ER model, conceptual model. So sometimes multiple, sometimes one, sometimes no at key attribute. It's okay. Okay? You can identify as many as possible, but they should be unique. That should be that attribute should identify the entity. Sometimes it may be possible name plus set can identify the entity. At that time you can make the connected line. This one, one, two key attribute. This one, only one composite key attribute. In this case we don't have, but if you can identify composite key attribute, you can connect the line. Okay? So this is the first step and second step. Okay? So next class we will continue the rest of the step. Okay? After that, you are able to do the conceptual modeling. It's a very simple step. One important thing is domain knowledge and practice. Okay, so we will have the more practice later. I don't explain it. Okay, so we will see the next class.